some of the problems which I faced from my parents, I'll just tell you now. When I became a Muslim, I kept it secret in my home. I was practicing Islam secretly for a couple of months. Two years ago, in the month of Ramadan, on 16th, that my parents came to know that I embraced Islam. When they came to know, they scolded me, they tortured me on, on that particular night. They told me to leave the house. I was 17 years old at, at, at the time. 17 years old. I felt so sad. I took my clothes and left the home. I went to Kadapa, other place uh, near to the, the place where I was residing in Andhra Pradesh. There I stayed for two, two days. After two days, I called my parents back. When I called my parents, my mom called me back to come back to the house. And they promised me that they will give the liberty to follow your religion, the, the religion which I embrace, Islam. I trusted them, I believed them, and I, when I came back to the home, from that time, my bitter day started. For six whole months, I was under torture. They scolded me every day. They hit me badly. I used to get blood from my mouth, nose, body parts. I tried to convey the message of Islam. When I tried to convey the message of Islam, they even told me that I am a mad. When I tried to convey the message of Islam, my parents took me to the mental hospital. Here in Palakkad, I do not know the name. I don't remember the name of the hospital. There I happened, I had discussion with the doctor as well. I asked him about the concept of God in their religion and I just quoted few verses to the doctor. He could not answer, he could not, you know, he could not uh, respond to my questions. And I was sitting alone with the doctor inside. Then later he called my parents inside to come inside the room. Then he said that your son really needs a treatment. I was fearing that wherein these people the uh, the one who the, the person who works in the hospital what if they take me and put some shocks you know i was i was really scared but allah subhanahu wa taala saved, saved me from the trial i had a firm faith that allah subhanahu wa taala is going to save me after few months after one month they took me again to the black magician the sorcery somewhere near uh, patambi uh, here you know the patambi Near Patambi, there is a famous, you know, famous all over Kerala, he is very famous. He took me there. Even it happened that I had a discussion with him also. He says that there is only one God, yet he worships three gods. He says there is only one God. Behind him I can see three uh, temples. So lie, liars, open liars. Islam is a truth, uh, religion of truth, brothers and sisters. Then I came back. There also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved me from the big trial. When we came back to the home, this is a very interesting thing. My, fa my father, mother and my brother, they went into a room and they were discussing that to send me out from the house. They were discussing. I heard that. I felt a little bad. I felt really bad. That uh, there is no need of Abdurrahman. I'm, Ratnahar, I am staying at home. We have to send him out because he embraced Islam. It is a bad name for us. I had bad name in the society. I cannot lift my head and walk in the society among the people. So they decided to send me out from the house. My mom came to me and she said, Ratnaharan, if you want to be at home, you have to follow our religion. If you, if you want to be at home, you have to follow our religion. I have to uh, participate in all rituals what they do. Or else you have to leave the house. I was 18 years at the time. I don't, know, I don't know what to decide. I took time. I told him, give me time for one day. I took time. I, played, I prayed Salah. But finally it convinced me that pleasing the God Almighty is more than pleasing the parents. Because Allah says the Quran, worship Allah and be obedient to the parents. Be obedient to the parents. So the first criteria I gave to my parents I told the next morning, I offered Fajr, 
then later i i told my mom that i am going to leave the house i cannot follow your religion i had only 200 bucks in my pocket and i took few clothes few clothes and left the home i wasn't i was not scared i wasn't uh, i wasn't in the future what happens in the future because i i was 18 years old i have to leave my studies i have to leave everything no support for me i had a firm faith that allah subhanahu wa taala is going to take care of me because i went through the verse in the quran i don't know i don't remember the verse it says whoever migrates for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala allah will take care of him and allah will admit him to the janna this please me this please me that is enough for me janna is enough for me this life i don't know when i am going to live anybody guarantee that they are going to live for one more hour anybody anybody respond no no one knows when he is going to die the but the eternal life is there in the paradise